Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and that. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with Queen Sugar Season 4, Episode 7, and it is of several centuries. Yeah. All right, we put a poll out there on our community tab on last week, and we wanted to know if you all enjoyed what we did last week when we premiered last week's episode, and we were down in the comments with you all in the chat, just chatting it up, popping in, doing whatever. Yeah. Whole lot of y'all said that y'all want to see us do that again and again and again. So this week, <laughs> that's what we gonna do. Yep. So if you're watching this when it premieres, drop down in the chat. Let us know that you're here. Hit a thumbs up to let us know that ding dong, you don't hit our doorbell yet. Hey. Yeah. And we'll be down there chopping it up with you. If you are an oldie but goodie, go ahead and hit the comments if you missed that premiere. You know, we'll still answer you. We'll still put hearts down there yeah. because we will never ignore you over on this channel. Indeed. So, on last week, before we get into this week, we would like to give a major shout out to two of our people that decided to drop through with some super, super chats. chats. Man, and we appreciate them, man. So, we have Coupon with Star. She gave us a super chat. And hey. we also have Queen Cat who gave hey. us a super chat on last week. Great. So, we appreciate, appreciate you. It's not something you have to do, but when you do do it, we say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate All right. it. Let's get into this week. I knew that this week was probably going to piss me off because it's, it's like an up and down thing. If they don't piss me off that week, I know the next week, just be prepared for it. be really pissed off. And somebody hit us up on Twitter and was like, I'm just going to stop watching this that night because <laughs> the way this Get stressed out late at night. Okay. So, let me see where I want to start. Let's start off with Ralph Angel's um, piece in this. We're over at the farm, right? And you know his friend Benny has been keeping his nose clean. And he's kind of like Ralph Angel's right-hand man when it comes to the stuff on the farm. Yeah. He's actually one of the forerunners that's helping manage the other people that's in the program out on the farm. Well, Ralph Angel pulls up, and there's cops all over the place. Well, the cops said that they got a tip that there had been drugs. An anonymous tip. Now, Ralph Angel said, you got an anonymous tip that there was possible drugs out here on the farm. It's a whole bunch of ex-cons out here. Yeah. No. So, they're roughing up Benny up a little bit, and they claim that they found meth with an attempt to distribute. You know what I'm saying? We all know that this is straight bull. Yeah. And even Ralph Angel was um, talking to the cop, and he was like, listen... I got cameras all around here. Don't forget that because you remember the last time he had an incident with that guy. Yeah. And the cop said, but do your cameras work Well, had the last time you checked them. I said, you mother. And they called him boy. Yeah. Woo. Well, but, my thing is that the cameras ought to caught the person that came and tampered with him. But they came at nighttime. I don't know if he had the, the, night, the vision. night vision one. But anyway. So when he said that, Ralph Angel knew that he had to go ahead and play this thing strategic. See, I like Ralph Angel because Ralph Angel is learning and he's growing. And yeah. he's not allowing his temper to get the best of yeah, him. Because he I knew was like, was like, in a situation that. like that, the cop even said, you keep on, boy. And you're going to be in the back of the car, uh -huh. too. So he played it cool. Because sometimes you just got to humble yourself. Bring it down to that so that yeah. you can live. You can live for another day. <laughs> so that's basically what he did. So moving forward, he reached out to his friend, his his girlfriend. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting this girl's name. I yeah, swear I, I keep do. Her name and too. she just as pretty as she wanted to be, but I keep forgetting her name, the 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 lady. And she came through and she ended up getting Benny out. She ended up getting him out, but Benny is traumatized at this point and he yeah. was like you know basically i ain't going back uh -huh. i didn't do nothing and ralph edge had to talk to him he was like you know i've always been under the belief that if i did what i was supposed to do keep my head down keep mm -hmm. my nose clean then nobody will buck with me that life will be what i make it to be and sometimes we just got to realize that that's not true mm -hmm. and this is something right here that we gonna fight with you and she said you know what i'm gonna fight this we gonna be okay but the the good thing is that you're out at this yeah. moment and i was like that sounds good and everything but when you got something holding over your head like that you don't want to get so excited because it could be snatched just like that yeah exactly like you said he probably never thought he was gonna go back you know yeah, he's doing he, it right he's, he's working right an honest thing. job making honest money now and 
they still want to buck with them. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah. Well, we know what the reason is. Yeah, exactly. So they don't even have anything to do with this. No. But we know how our power gets when it wants something. It'll do whatever it needs to do to get it. So Ralph Angel's friend that came to the house and let um, Ralph Angel know said, listen, you know what kind of work I do. So my colleagues have been talking mm -hmm. and now they're going to take your program and put it under review. And if anything comes back to not be on the up and up, they can revoke your funding for this program that you have here and snatch it all away. But she says, you know what? We're going to fight. This is why I became what I am. We're going to fight this thing. And we're going to see it to the end. I said, I said, you better. Say, come on through here. I said, yeah, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay. I told y'all I liked her. Somebody else in the comments said they didn't trust her. But so far, she, yeah, she I cool trust with me. Yeah, I, I think they will be a, a, a good power couple. Yeah, maybe. she going to balance him out. Yeah, yeah, because he need that right now. Yeah. So, what are we going to hit next? Let's hit Nova. Okay, Nova hmm. is in Philly. Nova is going to do a show, and it was from what I'm gathering, a show about her family tree, her lineage, um, genealogy, all that good stuff. So when she gets there, there is a lady that meets her, and the lady is kind of talking to her in code. Yeah. Like she's saying things without saying things, kind of as if something about to happen and you're about to get ambushed. So let me just go ahead and be And she was being overly nice, too. <laughs> uh huh. So... She was like, you know what, for the sake of the show, we went ahead and we dug into some things and, you know, come to find out that you are not the last relative of your mother. Because, you know, Nova had put it out there that she is the last living um, relative from her mom's side of the family. And whatever this lady showed her. It didn't sit well with no one. No, was like, oh, hell no, we ain't fit to do this. Yeah, because they were asking for permission to have it in the show that was going to be happening like in five minutes and Nova was like absolutely not so you can hear the lady telling the guy look Nova does not consent to having this information broadcast in the um interview whatever they get ready to do next thing we know Nova's sitting there with the guy and he basically puts it out there look we did some digging into your family history. This and he was talking a whole bunch of nonsense too yeah. about the Landrys and all of that and all the whatever. Have no proof and all that kind of. And I was like, yeah, "Who's out of you?" Up? Yeah, come but on. But anyway, man. and he just put it out there. Your mother has a cousin, cousin, a surviving cousin. She's not going to be on the show today, but I have made contact with her. Blah blah blah. And the first thing that hit my mind was, did she tell you how motherfuckers not to do that? And then it made me think, is that the information that Nova didn't want to be put out there? Because that wasn't bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad. So yeah. why did Nova say no? So I'm thinking that whatever they showed her in that room back there yeah. is different from what was aired nationally. Mm -hmm. That's Had just my been. thoughts. Because Nova seemed to be so pleased with the information that she got. Yeah. It was almost like, I've never been so happy to be wrong. Yeah. But I was like, that's not that same energy you had back then in that room. So any of y'all pick up on that as well? So we're going to keep our eye on that. Because yeah, a whole that. lot of people keep thinking that Nova has a sister out there. I, I don't know. Well, maybe this auntie can, can kind of fill in the gaps for us. So. Auntie going to come. I mean, cousin going to come through every I, mean, I, I say auntie. Yeah, cousin. Yeah, cousin. But you yeah. know, we always say old people's auntie. Yeah. She going to come through. Because a man said she said it was really close. So she got some information now. And she so, might be able to tell you a bird in that ground. <laughs> but just hopefully that you ain't, um, she ain't got that book and got pissed off or that whatever you done put in there. I know she ain't in there because, you know. You ain't know about, about her. You about her. But you talking so scared about the rest of her family, man. Yeah, so no so. telling how that's going to go when she go to try to meet her. But So, anyway. as she leaving the building, right? She bumps into her old flame. Oh, Mr. Calvin. Mr. Calvin. <laughs> And both of them immediately sparks yep. chemistry. Lit up like Christmas trees. Boy. I said, look at this right here. And I like Calvin. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even want to see Nova happy right now because I don't like her. I don't rock with her no more. But I like Calvin. Yeah, and I yeah. like Calvin for Nova. But I understand how everything went down and all of that good stuff. Well, they started playing catch up with each other. And Char I mean, Lord, we're calling Charlie. Um, Calvin let Nova know, listen, I read that book. Yeah. And I'm so pleased 
to tell you just as much as I was the love of your life, you were the love of my life. I said, I said, I said God know one person in the book is proud that he was present. <laughs> <laughs> But you forgot to mention that Calvin, she really lit up when Calvin said that I'm divorced now. She huh? was like, oh yeah? Let's get it Cause that was the blockage last time. And the fact that she was this the, activist yeah. that was all for the black cause but sleeping white. So yeah. that was a big thing too. And she brought that up later on when they got to talking. And he's, you know, he told no, but he said, I've changed in so many ways. I'm now divorced. I left the force. Oh, that rhyme. Yeah. Bars. Divorce and left the force. Bars. And yeah. um, he's opened up his own security company. And that's why he was in Philadelphia. I said, I call bullshit. <laughs> you own a security company now. You just conveniently be in the same place that Nova was. You stalked Nova. Huh, you you found so? out where she was you going so? to. This was a you setup. So? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. And having to be there the same amount of days that she did for your security company, you might you got, you might got a good point there. He stalked her. He looked that up, <laughs> and he he planted that dude there to act like he was gonna be security for him. <laughs> Cause if you're security for that dude, why you tell him to go ahead and go in? Yeah, you, you security secure me. No, no, no. You got a good point. He set that up, and he said, "No one gonna pull them panties to the side." <laughs> Told me keep my feelings to the side. It's a rich game. And um, so they got to chopping it up. And they decided at the end of the day, they're going to take things a little slow because they realize that they have both morphed into different individuals. So let these new people see if this old flame is going to meet up and work. Because I don't think it's going to work. Their old relationship, what they both admitted to, was about passion and sex. Yeah. I, and I it was nothing else. I but I don't, I don't believe I don't, that. I still, but don't, I still don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. I don't think we it's going to work. Disagree on because of one. the work she in. I don't know if... Well, that... Yeah. That's the thing. That's going to be the major block, you know. Yeah, that's going to be... And trying to... Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to... Like I said, I don't think it's going to work because of that that issue, man. Because um, that's going to... I think the passion and the love and... and and all that, the sex and all that stuff gonna be the same because they ready to do it right now. They are, but I'm yeah. proud because Nova, you know, she got hoes in every area code. Uh huh. But it seems as if they didn't even sleep together because they said, we wanna see if we can work this thing out and get to know each other and fall in love without the physical. Mm. So I was like, oh, well, okay. Let's see, let's see ya. But I one thing, I, gonna work, but we'll one see. thing I do like is. <laughs> Calvin threw a little bit of shade because Nova said, you know what, you're the best thing that's happened to me in a very long time because my family ain't even rocking with me right now. They they mad about the book. <laughs> and Calvin said, eat my vat? <laughs> she ain't talking to you either? Say, yep. Nova, you should have said especially uh -huh. on vibe. So you should have told her what on vibe said, told her what on vibe said to you. But Calvin said, you know what, there's so much love in your family. He said, I think over time it, it will come. I say. I, I, I believe everybody else, but I don't think Aunt Vi, because Aunt Vi has demonstrated she can't let stuff go. <laughs> she can't let. She's she going to take it all to the grave. Let's hit Dollar real quick. Dollar goes to work. And actually what I thought it was at first, I thought she had rolled up on one of her colleagues' desk and saw the book on her colleague's desk. But no, mm -hmm. it was her, her desk. desk. And one of her colleagues evidently <clears throat> had got the book opened the book to her chapter, which means they read the chapters mm -hmm. to know that it was her, that they were talking about a fallen star. Yep. Opened it up, put it face down on her desk, and they're sitting there to cut. Just... <laughs> so Dollar was like, uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? And they're like... Then just walked away. I said, no, no, no. Boss up. You, yeah. you bold enough to do some stuff like that at my workplace. Boss up. But she didn't do that. And the next thing we know, Dala is sitting down with her friend, the guy that she's getting to know. And they're talking, and she's talking about what happened at work and da 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 And he's coaching her through because he sees something. Yeah. And he was like, you know what, Dala? I think at this moment, you need to call your sponsor. She was like, no. She said, uh-uh. I called mm -hmm. you. Yeah. 
And he was like, but I think at this moment you need to talk to your sponsor. You've been doing the work. You've been doing the steps. But I think right now you're in a critical point where you need your sponsor. She said, I called you. <laughs> I'm not weak. I'm mad right now. <laughs> and dismissed him. And I said, let me tell you something. I hope a whole lot of y'all didn't fall for that. Now, I told you, I don't want Darla to relapse. I don't. Nah, uh -huh. I don't ever want to see it happen. But me knowing how they work. Mm -hmm. Me and James Caldwell, boy, he hard on Darla than I am. <laughs> because I won't give her a chance. He ain't bucking with her at all. But one thing I can't say, we know them heads. Mm -hmm. And we know how they do. And we know how they... And when you get that mad and upset because someone is trying to steer you in a direction away from falling back into it, you're halfway there. Uh. You're already halfway there. And then she dismissed him. Yeah. Like, get out of my face. I got this. But you really don't. You in a vulnerable place that you've never been before and you don't know how you're going to react to Cause it. She got, the look, she got the look again. And she got that look again. She got again. the look again. Even though she haven't used it, that look is there. Yeah. So in the words of the Grim of Gremlins, Check under your bed. <laughs> check in your Call that machine. guy your sponsor, man. That's Look what you your, need to Lock do. your doors because you may not know there could be a crackhead in your house. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> the criminals. They need to call his sponsor. Because <laughs> something is not right. 1-800-SPONSOR. Call a call. <laughs> so, Dollar pretty much said, you are dismissed from my presence. He got up and he left. He and he did. Right. He didn't fight with her or nothing. I said, okay, let's 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 do it that way, okay? I'm Vi. Okay, so I'm Vi. We learned that Hollywood went to visit his mom, mm -hmm. and he she was she was. I was painted like, all oh, hell. Yeah, she was painted it as if Hollywood's mama's getting older. You know, she's mm -hmm. yeah, and he went up there to spend some time with his mom. No, you put, you basically <coughs> yeah, put, put him. You, you, put, you basically sent them to his mom. You put my own out. <laughs> yeah, that's basically you put him out without telling him to get out. When you told him you wanted to be alone right now, he was like, you know some what? Space. I'm gonna give you some space right now, baby, and I'm gonna see mama. And that's what you don't want to do, cause mama gonna pull the bush, get out of him, cause and he gonna try to lie. Mama gonna say, how you and Vi doing? Uh, we doing good, ma. We doing good. She gonna be like, she ain't called since you've been dead. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Said she took them dreams that I told you about again, didn't she? Cause mama already like somebody mm -hmm. reminded me in the comments. Mama already don't want yeah, Hollywood. Uh -huh. That you have taken the back burner and did everything that she wanted you to do. But what about you? Yeah. And that's why I'm mad at with Vi. I'm like, Vi. The only thing that this man ever really wanted you to do was to take his name. Mm -hmm. And you didn't even do that. Yeah. And now he did nothing. But he got put out. <laughs> but Hollywood ain't at the house. So she's running everything by herself. She's doing the business by herself. Her and her um her assist. I don't know if she's an assistant or she's a manager. Sidekick. Her her right hand girl. Let's call her that. <coughs> and the right hand girl. They're locking up and closing out for the night. And immediately they they kept the camera in the down. I was like, what we'll get ready to happen? What is getting ready to happen? Immediately, I said, Jimmy Dale came through there and wrecked the shop. He was here in the closet until they cut the uh -huh. cut the lights out. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't Jimmy Dale. Um, they came in the next day and saw the place just trash and come to find out. You remember the guy that used to work on Ralph Angel's farm? Mm -hmm. The guy that got sick. Mm -hmm. The guy that went over there to Romero and Romero helped him get well. Mm -hmm. And then Ice came in there after um, Charlie set up this queen sugar mill as a place for them to go and get um health care and he got caught by ice yep. and now they're processing him to send him back his son and the reason that we um came to know that is because uh, if i had already said you know the cops came through they're probably not gonna find who it is because i don't <coughs> have any cameras yeah Charlie came through and you know her wheels start turning uh-huh somebody around here got some cameras so she went to the business across the street and the guy the guy had four five six k <laughs> definition yeah cameras i ain't never seen no surveillance camera that guy doing smooth and all my exactly. god doing like and, and on the close-up <laughs> what was he using yeah <laughs> what kind of cameras is that buddy well 
he got it. Had it pointed right over there to the diner, and Ralph Angel was there with him. He, he said, I know who he is. said, I know exactly who that is. That's homeboy's son. Mm -hmm. And he said, we can't take this to the cop. We can't. They don't went through enough as it freaking is. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, so how are they going to handle this? And then, on top of that, Charlie found out a bit of information that she didn't know before. Remember the guy that was over there at Jacob Boudreaux's? The creepy guy that Jacob mm -hmm. said he don't even like to talk in front of? Yeah. He was taking pictures of the guys. taking pictures, yeah. And taking pictures of the neighboring businesses and doing all this stuff. And she's like, this is weird. Yeah. Like, what's happening? Why are you taking all these freaking pictures? Okay. So, we're, we're going to catch that in a little later. Um, they went over there to confront the boy about breaking in the unvised. Now, it was, of course... The daddy is not there. The older brother's not there anymore because they're being processed to leave the country. Mm -hmm. So, the pastor, remember pastor from last week? There yep. wasn't feeling Charlie at all. No pastor is sitting there on the behalf of that boy and his mama. Yeah. And they're basically trying to figure out why would you Who do that? Do yeah, this? all people. You have no connection to unvied to mm -hmm. do something like. I mean, does this have something to do with? Being your father being caught up in my, I mean, they're trying to make sense of it. The boy said, What happened was, I got hemmed up by this guy that told me he would pay me $500 to throw a brick through your thing and to off, did he? Yeah, yeah, through, and to, to um, to, uh, to destroy, destroy the, diner. the diner. And if I didn't do it, he was gonna do to my mom what they've done to my mm -hmm. father. It's like, Dawn, I said, said the perfect blackmail. The perfect black male because he was gonna do it but at just like i said a few episodes ago you know what the <laughs> lanterns are playing street style and we need to play back and we need to play somebody needs a cat busting in their high parts man i'm telling you and me chip, man. when you start messing with with personal property yes. you don't cross the line yeah charlie them not one time has messed with any of their personal stuff You've been fighting them with the system the right way. But they insist they want to take away Ralph Angel program. They want to vandalize the diner. It's time for somebody to almost get ready to cut. Somebody's <laughs> age needs to get whooped. What happened, Stephanie? <laughs> I was getting ready to cuss. And they done pissed me off, man. I'll tell you, I was pissed last night with all my sisters. They didn't have nothing to do with any of this stuff. No. But that's how they know they are, they are a threat. And then, so, they ended up taking the guy to Aunt Vibes, and he confessed to what he did. And Aunt Vibes was like, you know what? I don't even want to hear. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to hear a sound. <laughs> you going to work this off. I said, that's right. Old school uh -huh. style. Old school style. You're going to work it off. You're going to be here three times a week. I said, that's light. We're having the five. Uh -huh. We're having the six. <laughs> yeah. No weekend. She said, I ain't going to do that child label stuff. So, <laughs> three days a week, three days a week. We're going to go ahead and do that. And they was cool, but come to find out, our mind was like, this ain't the first time my skit been vandalized. Jimmy Dale vandalized my, my house. Because <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, I was like, how did you go through this before? Because this is your first dime. Yeah, the house. <laughs> I said, darn, Jimmy Dale was like, yeah. So the community came together and they pretty much got on by skip back together and um, eliminated the boy for the work that he had to put in yeah that's pretty much what now, happened look, but my question is if you want your community which y'all came over there help <laughs> no <laughs> but i wish people could get back like that uh, yes. again man when when problems arise in the community that people will be like you know what i got you yeah. Yeah, because I love it when um, Ralph Angel and all of them came, they on vibe, whatever you need. I got it. I got you. I got you. So, is that opportunity for everybody to kind of forget about the book at this moment? Mm -hmm. And let's, let's, let's go be ahead a and fix this right here. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe this might be a stepping stone for Nova to get back in. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But but um, that brought up a good memory. <clears throat> at, if, if you give us like two minutes to talk about it. When my husband's uh, father passed. 
And my husband's father was a community guy. Like, he mm -hmm. was that guy in the community. If you needed anything, he did it. Yeah. Half of the time, people didn't pay him, didn't do anything. People kept saying, oh, people taking advantage he of you. Me, mechanic, he would, boy. Yeah, and he would still do it. Fix your car, cut your grass, paint your cars, do all of that. Mm -hmm. He would do that. So when he passed... We were sitting there at the house getting everything together. And you know, black people, they like to bring food to the house when some, you know, when you're prepping to bury your loved one and whatnot. And the next thing we know, we hear this truck. And this truck comes backing up the driveway. And we looked at each other like, like what? what? What's going on? Ain't nobody ordered no appliances, no nothing. One of the appliance companies in the neighborhood had heard about his passing and they said, I know that y'all probably going to need the space for the food. So we brought you two refrigerators. We're going to plug them up outside. Mm -hmm. And after the funeral and everything dies down, we'll come back and get them. I was so like, crazy. whoa. Yeah. That community came through. And I mean, I've never seen a turnout like that in my life. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So it, it made a situation that was horrible. Yeah. It made it feel good that mm -hmm. people were like, I got y'all because he always had us. Yeah. It, it was, yeah, it was good for it. And that's one thing I do like about living in the country. Here mm -hmm. in the city, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. People look country. at you broke down. They be like, BB, be, get out of my be. way. You in my way. But in the country, hey, hey you, you need some help. I got some jump cables. Yeah. I got, I got, a, no, I got, a, I got a new tire. <laughs> I got, I feel the cup ready for you. I feel the cup ready. I feel the cup ready. I'm going to put some Luna Fall on the come around in the I got it. Because got it. And the thing about it, in the country, everybody got a skill that you need. Everybody. Yep. Yep. And that's one thing I do love. When I say I get older, I probably will move back to the country because I love that sense of community. But right mm -hmm. now, I couldn't do it because they too nosy. <laughs> And as powerful that was, somebody came in my mom's house and stole that macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna say we're back on that. Yeah, man, I'm still pissed off about that. Ain't nobody come forth and confess about it either. <laughs> we we hid it all the way in the back of, of the, the oven. And somebody still found it. We come out there in all the macaroni and cheese. But you gotta tell them why that was so important. His aunt is known all over yeah. that area for having the best macaroni cheese yes. hands down. And my family cooks nothing on this macaroni Man, cheese. Macaroni I have no idea how everything. she does it. Every time she does it, it's the exact same. I don't know what she does to this macaroni and cheese. But everybody knows about it. Yeah. And you can, I mean, it's, it's a distinct look to it too. Mm -hmm. And a distinct taste. Both. But because of the look, they knew what the hell it was. Yep. And somebody searched that house high and low. Yeah, we they can did. put it in the back of the oven because we said at the end of the day, Cover it up. we can't eat right now because we messed up. Mm -hmm. But when we get hungry, we want that macaroni and cheese. Somebody stole the entire pan. Yeah. You just couldn't get, get some. You had to take the whole thing. And your dad had been gone how many years and we still mad about it? Yeah, he passed in 2007. So it's been 12 years and we still pitch it off. <laughs> we just like on vibe. We ain't going to let it go. Take it to my grave. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> but Unvi did say something powerful while we on Unvi Unvi had told Charlie cause Charlie wanted to know you know we gonna talk to Hollywood about this he not coming through to figure out what's going on with his lady and the diner and she let him know, let Charlie know listen he with his mama and because I, I need to work on me we good I'm not good. Yeah. I can't love the man that I love because of the man I hate. I said, Say, God, don't. Woo! You and can't love the she, man you love. And she said, I only got a couple of days to get myself together. And this right here yeah. ain't what I and need, need right, right now. now. So I'm fine. And I'm like, that still ain't healthy either. No, because you're just pushing it down. Yeah, you just, you are hurt by this. Your, your brand new diamond just got vandalized. You are hurt. You are tore up. You trying to play it off, just like you try to play off the hurt from Jimmy Dale all these years, and it resurfaced. So you still playing in the same game. That's the I'd rather I'd though. rather for her to tell Charlie I am hurt. I don't toe up right now. I got this issue with me in Hollywood because my skin is messed up. I need some help. Yeah. You know somebody that I can talk to. And you know she do. Yeah, and she do. So you still acting like you strong. On the outside, on the inside, you just a weak as a freaking egg yolk, man. Hey, what now? <laughs> <laughs>
So let's hit on Charlie while we got Charlie in the room and her ears are itching right now. Charlie goes over there to St. Thomas, which is another parish, I assume. And there's a councilwoman over there. Right off the bat, councilwoman ain't feeling Charlie at all. Yeah. Because Charlie knows that she has to rub shoulders with the right people to get the right support exactly. in order to win this campaign. Yep. And the lady is like, Charlie, just a few weeks ago, you were a Landry, owning shares, doing this, doing that. Basically, why are you over here? Who sent yeah. you? Because I don't trust you. And I was like, well, Charlie, she does have a point because she doesn't understand what has been happening for yeah, you to what, do, do what you have to moves, do. Strategic moves, yeah. So the lady was like, you know what? But at the same time, the lady should have came and asked her, why did you do that? But you that's, know, we that's, don't do that. Yeah, we just, yeah. So the lady was like, you know what? That highway that was supposed to come through St. Thomas, they'll move from St. Thomas to St. Joe. Hmm. St. Thomas, they would have gained a whole lot of jobs and opportunity for that highway being there. Now, all of a sudden, it don't jump over to St. Joe. Now, you're trying to push it back from St. Joe and put it back over to... First, just find out why. Why? We it plan, moved. Why yeah. we can't find and go see with the highway. And maybe we can talk after you figure out what's really happening. Because Homegirl was letting Charlie know in so many words, there is a bigger picture here. Mm. And until you figure out what the bigger picture is, we don't need we to don't, talk. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit back to where we were when she went over there and got, uh, saw those surveillance pictures. She ended up going over there to Jacob now that she has some pictures and she recognized the guy in the pictures. Hmm. And Jacob spilled the beans almost immediately after he thought Charlie was trying to poison him. <laughs> he literally drink. He was he like, said, "She said, I'm not going to poison you. Yeah, I just want to ask you like your family do. I just want to ask you a few questions. Well, come to find out, remember when his mama was over there in D.C. doing what she did? Hmm. While they were messing around with the highway and doing all the stuff that they was doing, they done found out about this thing called natural gas. Yeah. And now they ran that fracking around and trying to figure out a way to purge everyone so they can have this free reign on this yeah. land. Mm -hmm. To do and, some drilling. And, and, and let's get it on and popping. So that's what the plan is. is. And that's why Skit keeps going. Da, da, da. And Jacob said... This right here, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, and it makes Mill and Cain look like. Yeah, because he said the profits is real low right now. Yeah. So he was like, "You need to pick a side." That's what we did. We just picked a side. I mean, we. Yeah, who's we? Yeah, who is we? Y'all is the one that's doing this. Ain't no we. It's y'all. Yeah. So y'all might think that y'all separate entities, but at the end of the day, you're Brujo. You're still a land. <clears throat> yeah. So that's what's going on. So now, because she has this bit of information, they have to figure out a way to let everyone else know what's going on. So they decided to get these shirts and they pretty much staged these pictures where whatever was going on, yeah, everybody can know it now. So everybody was united by the fact that this isn't about a St. Thomas thing. This is not about mm -hmm. a St. Joe thing. This isn't even about a farmer thing. It's us. This is going to affect every All of last us. one of us. Exactly. If we don't come together mm -hmm. and do something and fight against this. Mm. Because they're not just taking um, your housing. They're looking to take businesses too. Yep. They want to level white the place. Every, whether you black, white, Chinese, well, they trying to wipe us all out. Yeah. So I said, okay. So later on at the house, Michael was there and he was um, looking through the pictures and he was telling his mom, you need to use some of these pictures for your campaign. And she was talking against it and whatnot. And all of a sudden, simultaneously, both telephones started ringing the house phone and the cell phone. Now, she's like me. Who the hell called on my house phone? Don't call yeah. on the house phone. Yeah. It's like, what the hell going on? She was like, hmm. So she answered the cell phone. And immediately, I said, Lord, I'm about to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. A Nova died or one of them. Was somebody like, oh. dead. When you get a phone call like that, you're like, somebody <laughs> dead. Well, no, ain't nobody dead. The Queen Sugar Mill is on fire. Somebody needs to. They need I'll get a cuss, too. Somebody so, needs to trying to take Ralph Angel's program, vandalize all by uh, freaking um, uh, restaurant. Now you're going to burn down the mill? 
The only person that's winning in this episode is Nova, and I hate to even say no mess yeah, like that. Yeah, for real, for real. Nova yeah, got her old flame back, possibly. Mm-hmm. Things going good. Oh, yeah. Yep. These legends and Boudreaux, they taking the two got on far. Now y'all y'all vandalizing property, and ain't nobody going to jail? No, because somebody needs to die at this point. This yeah, point. they do, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We need the blessing part. Let, let, Let's do blood. Let's yeah. let's do that. See, I don't know if you believe an I for an I for two for two. I can't but, but they don't they don't took this too got on false. So it needs to be an I for an I and a two for two at this point. I'm Haitian, you know we all for it. <laughs> I say go ahead and take out that grandma. That'll rock that'll rock their core. Um, no, we need we need to take out the, the, the main cat first. Because I think the grandma is the one that's pulling all the strings. But she is the business lady, so yeah, she, she pulls she's all the, the strings Charlie of the so, family. So yeah, you take that one out. I got a nice soup I can make. Her. I'm pretty sure they got some ram in the bush for that though, but send a message back that y'all can't fuck with us. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all get down in those comments and y'all let us know. Yeah. One, did you get pissed off at this episode as much Which as we know you did? Off? We know you did. And two, what what needs to be done at this point? Like what needs to be done? I'm, yeah. Ava, you exhausted me because I just, <laughs> I just need us to win right now. And yeah. it seems like the only person winning right now is Nova and that Yeah. So sometimes when I watch the episodes now it's like at the show. And I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna close out like I like I pass or say. I'm gonna close on this note. <laughs> what's the end game here? What's what's gonna be the overall message? Are we gonna win, or are we gonna perpetuate that we never win? We just fight, 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 fight until we tie. Until we tie, then another generation come along and fight, 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 fight until they tie. So are we gonna see a real victory in this? Or uh, we're gonna just keep seeing what we normally see in life. Straight from the VA. Oh yeah. Um, and just in case you missed you didn't catch the Love and Marriage Huntsville review oh, of the trailer. Man. That's gonna be up here somewhere in one of these corners. Nice. Going, yeah. So go and click that and check that on out. Straight from the VA. The dirty dirty self. Two up, two down. Holla.